What's good, YouTube? This your man, Spill Dog. Yeah, it was a pretty good fight with Frank Martin and the boy Rivera last night. Uh, I uh, I was very impressed with Frank Martin's uh, his poise, and and he a lot faster than I thought he was. Uh, you know, him being a southpaw, he he, you know, you can see he got some of that Midwest slickness in him. Uh, and he, you know, like I say, he's a real strong fighter. Uh, for 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 that division, you know, uh, I noticed. Rivera couldn't get away from that counter straight left, you know, uh, and um, and he was doing some real serious body shots. Uh, I think Frank Martin, at, you know, I think he he need about two more fights or something like that. But I think he gonna, you know, I think he can cause a lot of problems up there uh, for some of them dudes at 135. Tank, I'm not sure about that one. You know, uh, I don't know what type of chin he got. I really haven't. You know, he got touched a little bit by Rivera, but I didn't see him get hit with no, like, real big shots. So, I don't know how he will react to tank power, but I, I'm thinking pretty much like everybody else, you know. Uh, I would I would, I would, would see he would he would look better against maybe, uh, I just don't think it's time for him to get in there with uh, Tank and uh, Shakur just yet. Uh, Maybe a couple more fights, a little more experience. I think he needs to tighten that defense up a little bit before he go that, you know, uh, big game hunting. But he going in the right direction, and I like the way how Earl is matching him up. He's not putting him in easy fights. He's putting him in with real good, solid competition. So when he do step up for that title fight, he, he going to be ready. You know, uh, he fighting the right fights. At this, at, at right now, to get him prepared to fight with them, with them, or uh, with the with the the top guys in the division, I don't think he there just yet. But then again, he might be. You know, we have to see him in the ring with one of them. But I don't know if I would rush it. If I was Earl, I would give him another fight or two. I thought he was supposed to be fighting the boy Chris Colbert, uh, or whatever his name is. Uh, but I don't know what happened with that. But this was probably a better fight for him. Uh, at this stage, because. That guy was a little bit experienced, and and I was just, you know, I was hoping they didn't bait Earl them into something that they might not have been ready for just yet, just because he had that one bad fight. I don't know if he, now it, like I said, he gave up in that particular fight, but I don't know if that's his makeup, because, you know, anybody could have a bad night, you know, uh, so I think that was the right fight. Now, if you want to fight him next, I would, I would be, I would be, if I was Earl, I wouldn't have had no hesitation, but. This was the right fight at the right time, and he showed everybody in that division that he gonna have to be somebody that they respect and that they gonna have to take serious if nothing else, you know. Uh, but it was a good fight from Frank Martin. Derek James doing a good job with them boys over there. Uh, he got the right trainer too, you know. So, you know, uh, Evan Earl and uh, and and uh, Derek James and Charlo and all of them in the gym with him. That that can't do nothing but. Uh, motivate him and make him work harder so you know when you're around champions and great fighters and, and you know he got talent already too as much as Derrick James probably don't work with him you got to bring a trainer or something to work with to start with and I believe Frank Martin was a good fighter when he came in the gym I'm, I'm thinking he is a better fighter now but I, I, I you can look at him and tell he can fight you know uh, he, and he ain't just learned how to fight you know uh, but he got the right guy guiding them now, and uh, we're going to see what happened with them, but I was definitely impressed. Uh, it was a good fight. I would have liked to see a knockout, but he fought the right fight. You don't want to go in there and mess yourself up going for the knockout. If it come, it come. You know, that's the best way to get them, you know. Uh, but it, it, it was action-packed. It wasn't no, it wasn't a, it wasn't a, 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 a boring fight at all, uh, and it wasn't really a one-sided fight, uh, especially in the early rounds. Rivera was giving him problems at one time. But after that knockdown, you could look at Rivera's face. And when he was going in the corner where he was holding his head down, you could tell he was starting to doubt himself. Uh, I felt like Frank Martin probably could have stepped on the gas and got him on up out of there. But he did it. He did it the right way. Uh, Sometimes it's just, it's just enough to get the victory and uh, go on to the next fight. But, uh, but that's it for me on this video. If you like the video, hit the like or subscribe. Till the next time, it's your boy Spiel Dog. I'm out.